Facebook. I don't know on the rights to that music playing in the background. <laughs> it's Blues Traveler. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. I found a little nugget that I wanted to share with you. It's, it, this will be short and sweet. It's in 1 John 4, 17. Hey, Ron, hey, buddy. And it says, all of our translations, may, mostly I would say, all the ones I've seen says, as he is, so are we in this world. But if you dig into the Greek, you will not find he, and you will, find, you will not find we. It does not say, so are we in this world. It doesn't it does not say as he is it says in the Greek it says just as the one it actually says the one out there out yonder so just as the one and only being there can only be one and the Aramaic is Allaha the one and only being just as this one and only being that you thought was out yonder, only way out there, just as this one, and then it goes on and it does not say so are we. It uses this Greek word ego, which is I. So just as the one, I, also I exist or I am as the world it's all pointing to the same thing just as the one is all things so am i i exist as all things we are one just as the hindu says namaste the christ or the light or the life in me acknowledges and accepts the Christ or the life or the light in you. We are one. The Christ or the higher conscious life energy that fills all things and holds all things in stability that is within and also without that stands behind every living being and let me define living beings it's everything trees grass mother earth the air every living organism not only in this universe but in all universes so 1 john 4 17 actually says just as the one the one and only being i ego i also i exist or also i am as the world, cosmos. What's John saying there? Could John have tapped in to this oneness that we are? Could John had been, have been saying that we are one with and as all things seen and unseen? Could God, could we have always been eternally one? Could we have been the light of life in the light source that transitioned through this light beam, this source of light that contained the light of life, this that, that traveled through thought and idea, the formless, the form, or the expression and the form. So the light source traveled through this consciousness, the Christ, the Logos, the thought and idea of God in which we are, consciousness, moved through it and just as in a prism refracted and came forth as it like when you when you send a light through a diamond or a prism many lights come out many forms many crystallized formations forms this is what we are we are crystals our entire makeup it's crazy your bone structure your water you're all water which is a liquid crystal that takes form and shape. Um, in your glands, there's liquid and also solid crystals. It's the same thing the phones are made out of. So God, in, John, in 1 John 4, 17, it doesn't, it, if, if we really break it down, it doesn't say as he is, so are we in this world. It says, just as the one, 
I, ego, I. Also, I exist. Or I, I exist, I am. As the world. So maybe, as within, so without, as above, so below, as in heaven, so on earth, as in my awareness, consciousness, so without, so on earth, so is my experience. As I feel, so will I be. It's all pointing to the same thing, that we are, and there is only one, one and only one being. We call God in the Aramaicus Allah, the one and only being. Thank you to my brother Steve Conover, who's turned me on to a lot of Aramaic. He's a lot more knowledgeable than, that, than I am with it. But Allah is the one and only being. The Christ is Kaya, conscious life energy. <laughs> conscious life energy. In the beginning or in source was the word or the milta, which is the formless, the expression and the form all is one, which is us. The thought and idea of God, which is us. The, the word embodying the thought and idea of God, which you are, the form. You are, aren't just the form, you're the formless, the breath, you're the thought and idea, consciousness, and the expression, and you're the form, you, as God in the earth. God is Christ, Christ is God, it's all one. The spirit is breath, the very thought or the word, the thought and idea of God. That's why it says, be renewed um, in the spirit of your mind, in the breath, in the thought and idea of God. Come into alignment with this one thought, this one idea, Christ, conscious life energy is all. So in 1 John 4, 17, it's actually stating that we are, and there is only one being, and we are that one being, and that one being is us. <laughs> oh, and I tell you a great meditation, <clears throat> if you can still yourself and then and speak from within consciously declare this over every cell within your being and say be still and know i am god just what john was saying in 1 uh, 4:17 john 1 4:17 says just as the one it actually says the one out yonder or the one just as the one and only being I the individual that I thought I was I am the one and only being as the world as all we're all connected love y'all have a great day we're all equal we're all connected we're all one we're all equal because there is one and only one being the one and only being God in the Aramaic it's Allah and it says, in the beginning was the Word in which we are, and the Word was looking through the face of God. The light of life in Him was in Him, looking out of source, possibly. And this Word that we've always been was God. It's in John 1.1. 1, 1. It's in the Bible. Was God. And if was God, is God, and will always be God. <laughs> <laughs> what was and is and is to come love you all Christ manifesting in through and as you all as humanity that's why Jesus said it's a wonder if the spirit bursts the, the flesh the body but it's a wonder of wonders if these bodies this flesh births the spirit God peace have a great day